I know. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying there's a burning windmill behind you now. <laughs> Why is every tower burning that we leave? Um, let's just say this tower is already decrepitated, already probably falling apart at this time. <laughs> Essentially. Bye. I mean, you did save two kids from it at least before you lit it on fire this time. Yes. And we destroyed someone's nest. Well, we can't always, we can't always, uh... Hello, chats. Right. Nope. No, you cannot. Alrighty. You guys are back on the road, then. Actually, yeah. pushing the road. So, oh. Colin just sounded a character I know from <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> so, Valis, um, Eel, how was your, uh, sleep? Oh, I'm just, yeah, I'm doing just fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Am I still sl uh, sleeping? No, you're, or... awake. you're probably awake now. So does oh, it count no, no, as no, a no. long rest? I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna take a, mo a little bit more nap. Don't worry about me. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, it counts. As, I'm sure it counts as a long rest because we rested too. So yeah. yeah. No, not like we had much else to do since they were out for. Well, Valus for seven and El for eight, or is it yep. nine? Eight. eight, eight. I ate. He's seven. Yes. Seven, eight, nine. So, uh, am I still dreaming? You... I'd say you're all awake by this point. Okay, describe us waking up. As you do, mm -hmm. in the glow of the burning windmill, since it has been some time and you did this around almost nighttime, I'd say you guys are getting up about very early morning. It's dark out, obviously, because the sun's covered, but it's darker. So, did we... Or did you all... Uh, stay in front of the burning mill overnight? You have a carriage with enough room for everyone. Oh, was that a big carriage? <laughs> Is this like a fam family camping nobody, carriage or something? Nobody wandered back into the burning windmill and went, Oh, I'll use this old bed as it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure my character probably, after she took a little four hour trance, probably took a a log, set, made it a makeshift chair and sat in it while reading a book. Uh, da, da, da. So it was a long rest, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but I suppose no, well, at least not me or Valus were able to change the spell list because reasons. Okay, for a long rest, you could. Well, if Alice wanted to, he has an extra hour over you. Yep. Okay, am I still wearing armor? Yes. No. Okay. No, no you don't. I was just saying, uh, he's still wearing his armor, so he didn't get much of a rest because you didn't take it off before him. Uh, we stripped him last time. Oh, yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, I mentioned that because we're setting them up as Big Spoon and Little Spoon. Oh, yeah, okay. No, you did make that point. Okay, yeah. good. Yep. Just think we're being nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. for, uh... That's, that's your mercy for what has just happened. Alright, so you wake up without your armor on. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know that Valus was also uh, having a dream, by the way. You'd have to ask him. Yeah, so I would... Uh, I don't know, how he's would I react? Thinking, he's still deciding to sleep. He doesn't want to get up. Oh. <laughs> it looks like it. He doesn't have to, he's so... <laughs> Wait. He's moping right now. <laughs> so I am waking up cuddling Valus. Yeah, yeah but you're a little spoon. 
Yep. <laughs> you mean, sure I have that. questions. <laughs> no one has answers. Why am I naked? Why is he naked? You're not naked. You just yes. don't have armor on. Yeah, Where is my armor? Right there. Get it on. Why? <laughs> well, you could stay without your armor. And who did hey. this? And why You're is the building burning? Well, it has we a nice cheery glow. Huh. Well, not burning, but smoldering with embers. Yeah, it's probably burnt down by the few hours that you spent having it flamed up. Yeah, because it's being ramshackled at that time. It probably didn't have a whole lot to it. <laughs> And everything in there probably flammable, so. Anything of value was already grabbed. Yep. Well, that place so was something's already... not of value, but that was between the two that decided to grope the uh, pastries. Yes. What happened to the building? There's nothing in there. There you go. There's nothing. <laughs> nothing left. Oh, but what Nothing happened left. to the building? Gone. <laughs> it's gone. gone. Why? <laughs> Valos, was it you again? No, it wasn't Valos no. this time. This time it wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> we can actually vouch for him. Reason why it was... Because, let's see. It was already coming apart. There was nothing. It was. It was not... It was beyond repair. Basically. Then there's children's bones everywhere in it, so there's also that. Yeah, there's a lot of bones, <laughs> a lot of stuff in there. It was... We couldn't stand to have it stain. We could Who always build something we? new. Who knows? You have to think. Who knows? The ghost might be with us. The ghost of the children who have perished may have been here. They but, didn't want this okay. <sighs> Wally? Yes? I need you to make an insight check if you want to figure out who it is from what they're saying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. Do we all make an insight check or whoever wants to? Whoever wants to find out whoever it was that actually did it. Well, nobody asked exactly who lit her on fire. He just been asking why. Ooh. Yeah. Are you wondering who lit the thing on fire? I'm. I'm wondering like, why. Why? I yes, why? Told you why. Did it, it was decrypted. It was decrypted. With your insight check, Rivale, you can tell the reason why the windmill burnt so well is exactly as Anafia tells you. It's decrepit, falling apart, and thus very flammable and easily prone to getting destroyed. Why? Buildings don't just catch fire suddenly. They do in this party. As far as you know, Ooh, just, asking, away. <laughs> just <laughs> by asking why it's on fire, for all you know, someone in the party bumped over a lantern or a candle. I'm Uncle, looking at them again. There. Did mm -hmm. you see him? <laughs> He's mm -hmm. hugging me. Zanafia says that. Zanafia has said that she can vouch for. Uh, I can vouch gonna... for Vallis. Yep. He went. He went past that right after you. Give me another insight check. For all intents and purposes of what you can see, Ballas is still fast asleep. Okay. <laughs> Question. Why is he hugging me? Why is Dem Venom hugging me? That way when you woke up you weren't so lonely. Damn Maybe Venom doesn't care sleep. about my feelings. Yeah. Why is he hugging me? 
Who, who did that? You have to ask him. I'm not going to wake up them, Venom. Also, so, who... <laughs> Who took his clothes? We didn't take his clothes. We didn't the only take thing his we clothes. Was he has his clothes. Only me? Armor and weapons. Uh, only armor because and you weapons. you don't sleep with those unless you live dangerously. I would have burned you alive if I ever woke up. <laughs> Can I please get my stuff back? Right there. It's uh, everything. <laughs> hide them. You just need to get up and put your stuff on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can someone take going my place you. in a, uh, for a few seconds? Uh, I'm afraid to wake up the phantom. <laughs> just don't move. Just don't turn. Also, you won't be. You be right. Also, you won't believe what I just dreamt. Of. If you're trying to get out of his grasp, Revali, since you don't have your armor on, you'd get a straight stealth roll. What? Me? Stealthy? How can this be? Well, you don't have yeah. disadvantage on it, at least. Okay, yeah, how you don't do have I... your armor on. Yeah. I'm stealthy. Valis, are you going to uh, wake yourself up or continue to sleep, quote-unquote? I am gonna wake up. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. With uh, your lack of stealthiness, even without your armor, since you're not used to moving around, you are now face to face with Valis, like nose to nose. So he wakes up with me in his hands. Yep. I'm gonna immediately start screaming, like, get off me! Get off of me! <laughs> get off! <laughs> Don't touch me! Stop head. touching me! Get away from me! You're touching you're on me! Him, you're Technically, yeah. you're on him. Valus, you're the one that has his arms around him. You're the big spoon. I am gonna immediately move to the other side quickly. <laughs> Oh, All right, the NPCs are probably together. watching this clown show and wondering what they got themselves involved with. Say, they think they're in a land of horror, tragedy, and misery, and they're screaming because they're holding each other. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, these poor NPCs, they've just realized they've put their lives into the hands of a, a group of clowns. Two At least the kids are laughing. That's a good thing, at least. Why are you hugging me, Devin? <laughs> Remember we're passing out on a ground! <laughs> what? Did you have an interesting dream there, Valus. <laughs> Why you look away? He had yeah, an no. interesting dream and woke up to a nightmare. <laughs> I woke up to a good day. I was having a good dream. I woke up. What do I wake up to? A nightmare. <laughs> well, then. Uh, ouch! Get your stuff ready. We should probably head on right now. Oh, we can't go, please. <laughs> Why are you even hugging me to begin with? I uh, wouldn't. I hug you. I don't oh, remember with like trying to close pastry back in the windmill. Before I what forget. What happened next? I pass out. <laughs> Before I forget, I still need the uh, downtime rolls from Ravali and Darren. But I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I was streaming. What did you want me to roll, though? You haven't told me that yet. Uh, for Dungeon Delver, it'd be your intelligence. Okay. And Ravali, you had woodworking? I was streaming. Dreaming. I wasn't ca incapacitated. I'm still going to give it to you. Oh, okay. Uh, what do I roll? A 20? Ballast, did you uh, figure out anything you wanted to start working on downtime towards, feet or otherwise? I have no clue. Turn now. Okay. I gave you mine, so... So, uh, I roll a 20, yes. Yep. That essentially be for your decks. And I need to add... 
So one d20, it's a two. Uh, so that'd be 21. With your dex. With the dex, I'm right? <laughs> Okay. Almost a 20, oh my god, it's an eight. Ah. Not better, but I guess better. Right. Like I said, I wasn't capacitated. And Xanafia did give me hers. Yep, I'm happy that I got a pass on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I've got those marked for you guys now. Two more! <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, are you guys all set up and ready to go? Mm -hmm. One moment. My boots. Also, where is Kari? Can we not focus on Kari for a while? I mean... Why? She, she has been not make quiet lately. I see Bye. a pixel on the map. I mean, Kari's still alive. You never actually sacrificed her, so... No. And yeah, I we don't even know. She just ran off. <laughs> and I don't even know where Kari is. What do you mean Call she ran back, off? Kari. Kari's she don't fine. worry about it. She's fine. She'll be back when she wants to. <laughs> <laughs> just let her be. <laughs> let Kari come back when she wants to come back. Did Thank you guys? You. <laughs> did you guys lose Kari? No. no. She just please. ran off when she wants to. Please, let's not. All right, are you all ready you lost to go? Kari. Yep. Hmm. Let's not focus on Kari. We gotta focus on what we're supposed to be going. Yes, I agree. Thank you. Now, can you we lost go, Kari in Bavaria. <laughs> I'm going to set this man on fire. <laughs> Rivali, I, I can't out of game, please. That's. Focus on Kari constantly. Because you guys still got ground to cover. Yeah, we got yeah. ground to cover. You do realize you are telling the life cleric of nature to ignore the fact that Kari something happened fine. to Kari, Kari. the Kari. only animal in the group. Bravale, you also didn't mention her from the time that you lost her in Barovia till now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's been a few days. I'm not saying you should forget days? about her, but but trying to search all of Barovia for a now missing rat is going to take you so much time. Yes. Kari is. Wait, I thought she was just quiet, but how Kari long is... exactly is Kari missing? In a couple days. Venom. What did you do to Kari? That's not what we did to Kari, it's what <laughs> happened in the freaking thing. The thing? The death house. The death I'm about house. To go, I'm about to leave the cards and <laughs> if you keep asking me this question. Darius going to start moving down the road since the character's not moving. He's going to scout. As far as you can tell, Derek, if you want to give me a perception check. Okay. As far as you can tell, just by looking around from the road, surprisingly, there doesn't seem to be anything that's been drawn by the what was once lit brazier of gigantic proportions that was the mill. Mm -hmm. But then again, you can't exactly see very well into the forest. Okay, I don't know if I should be worried, but I definitely would like to thank the ravens that tried to warn us. Mm -hmm. And pray. If that helps, I, I don't know. Can I roll for religion and animal handling? <laughs> you may roll for religion, but not animal handling, unless you're doing something with your draft horses. Okay. The 14. Your daily sermons are doing you well. You get the feeling your god is pleased with you. Okay. And I would like to thank the raven, somehow. You get the hint that perhaps leaving 
some bird seed or some form of food, a small little nest on top of the carriage might work. <gasps> like on top of the carriage? Wait, since when was there a nest? You never actually looked at the top of the carriage. No! You just wait. looked at the uh, leaves that formed on it. Oh my god, wait. On top of your carriage, you can see at least three decent nests. Sweet. Seemingly attached to the main beam running through the top of your carriage. <gasps> wait, where are they? Wait. I never... People, we have... A... Yeah, people, we have three nests on the carriage. Uh, I would like to leave uh, be, uh, birds eat berries, yes? Birds eat berries? Mm -mm. I would like to leave a good berry. Yes, yeah, a good berry. Alrighty. Bad seeds would be, bad seeds would be more accurate, but, you know. But give me your animal I don't have seeds. Roll. Uh, what, what role? Animal, uh, animal handling. handling. Animal handling. A seven. As far as you can tell, you don't see any birds around you. Ah. Anyway, I'll leave uh, one good berry in each nest. Alrighty, you all set to go then? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, inventory with berry. Alrighty, I'm assuming you're going to go down the road now. Hey. <laughs> okay. Thank you, oh wise raven, for trying to save them venom. It didn't work, but I appreciate your gesture, Eamon. Also, Sylvanus, you are best boy. Oh, look, a river. Wait, who's driving? I'm assuming you are. Yes, first. Oh, me? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought damn it. Boop. Well, good morning, everyone, I guess. I had a crazy dream, you won't believe me. Uh, it, had, it was a river of chocolate and little people singing. Dreams. Now is probably not the time to talk about dreams. It's never the time to talk about anything, whether what was inside the book... Uh, you can see coming from what happened in the, the dry riverbed to the north of you, because that'll be the right side. Uh, that lake that you're passing by, there's somebody coming out of it. People, are you seeing this or am I still dreaming? Uh, you're not dreaming. <laughs> There's something on our right. Okay, kids, be quiet. Pyotr and uh, uh, we're outside. Slivanka, I forgot her name uh, again. We're outside, dude. Uh, don't say. Yep. I thought we are outside. He's right there. Yep, you're uh, outside. I thought we are pretending to drive past. No. Oh. oh. You're Why are we to outside? Try and, uh, anyway, well, here's the thing. You can stop for this, or you can drive away. I would like to check our surroundings. And tell the people inside the carriage to stay put and uh, draw their weapons. And the children right. to hide. I'm, I'm gonna need... Here, you wanna go up there? <laughs> What's your survival check for, Derek? Oh, that was mainly just to keep an eye out for any hazards in the... Okay. On the trails, things like that. From what you Basically, can see... Just... Just by looking and keeping an eye out like that, you can see a lone figure walking with a stride and bearing of one who knows no fear. They're clad in rusty armor, cl clutching a gleaming lawn sword in its pale hand and looking ready for a fight. Nope. 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 This is suspicious. Nope. Uh, so no one is around us? Nope. 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 <laughs> Okay, no one is apparently around us. Uh, he looks like an undead. Get back in the cage. Wait, I mean, you there? All, Stop right there! Her. Get back in the carriage. She's dragging Van a uh, eel. <laughs> Get but back he... in the carriage. Now. 
no, maybe he wants to no. talk? No. No. Okay. Okay. Hey, are you getting back in the carriage? May as well. I mean, as far as I know, we have nothing to deal with this thing. I mean, unless... No, unless the necromancer wants to play with... <laughs> I'm not the necromancer. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Can we maybe drive in front of it at a safe distance and talk? I mean... Let's go. Let's no, we're this. leaving! We're going! <laughs> okay! Sheesh. It's still gonna be early morning, so it's technically not even wake up time. Are you wanting to... What even is a revenant? Give me an intelligence check, all of you. Why am I all so low today? Except religion. Let's see... Well, okay, religion was a 9, I have a plus 5 bonus, but whatever. <laughs> Nothing else linked oh, to damn. intelligence check. Damn! I got a 20. Wow, that's a big map. Out of everyone here, only Valus knows that a revenant is a highly ancient, highly powerful undead. They are capable of tracking their targets and seemingly know the distance and direction to any creature they're hunting. Well, good thing I said no. <laughs> no magic is able to hide a creature pursued by a revenant. And in more some cases, it seeks revenge against more than one. It pursues them one at a time. Wait. It all... <laughs> then when I'm, I was telling us that we are being hunted by being haunted? You're being hunted by an undead tracker that will never stop until you're dead. Wait, who exactly mm -hmm. is he tracking? You don't People, know. What did you, didn't you, do? you didn't stick around to find out. People. Can we maybe not cause more problems? I'm looking at everyone I'm suspicious. At, I'm gonna stare at you. I'm gonna stare at you like he didn't just want to get out. <laughs> like we told him to get in the cards. Oh, oh right, my outfit. Who are we saying is causing more trouble? Hmm? You are right. Mr. Damn, uh, Venom, did Mr. you do something again while I was asleep? No, I'm getting back into nothing. carriage. He was, he was completely asleep like you were. He's for once innocent. He's actually innocent. Oh. So, Wait, no. Both of you are innocent. Yeah. I didn't do anything. Yeah. Alrighty. Are you uh, all, uh... Oh. It was one revenant. Maybe he was lonely? I, I don't know. Nah, he looked like he's about to fight us. Nah, -uh. good that. Did you really uh, want to talk to someone? I'm going to be completely honest to you guys. That thing is essentially a Terminator. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, that's what? <laughs> yeah I, I'm, I'm so glad I said wait, no. <laughs> wait, what if he is after... I don't know, maybe after two people? No, he's after, it seems like he's after us. Uh, not uh, good at, okay, I'm not taking you... no chances. <laughs> You guys didn't stick around long enough to figure out what it wanted. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't want to know. Even the paladin Nothing. did not want to. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm a sorcerer. My, All right. I like to quit chaos. <laughs> the old Zavalich road that you've been following meanders into a valley. Watched over by dark brooding mountains to the north and south. The woods have receded, revealing a sullen mountain berg surrounded by a wooden palisade. Thick fog presses up against this That's wall it. as though looking for a way inside, hoping to catch the town of slumber. The dirt road ends at a sturdy iron gate with a pair of shadowy figures standing behind them. Planted in the ground and flanking the road outside the gate are half a dozen pikes with wolves' heads impaled on them. 
You can see the wall itself is 15 feet high, and it's made of vertical logs held together with thick ropes of what looks like mortar. And the top of each log has been sharp... been sharpened to a point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where is it? I want to make a Who's note driving? to... I want to make a note to the... Uh, the I'm changing the... seats. <laughs> Can I speak? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, was gonna, I was gonna make notice to uh, uh, what are the names again? They changed the names. But Yota the two, and Pisa, Pisa and uh, Oyata. Oyata, yeah. We're only making a pit stop here before we take you to the chapel. I hope that's alright. They have no issue with that. Alright. As I said to them, we're going to stop through for a bit, maybe collect supplies, and then head on. I'm up. <laughs> what do we do with the children? They'll stay with them. Yep, the okay. children actually recognize the two that you had with them because they're from the same village. Yes, uh, okay. But you are standing outside the gates with your carriage now. You are being hailed by a guard. Oh, you lot! The fuck you doing out there in the night? We were just coming. I, I'm stepping. We were just coming through for a bit, then head out on the way after this to chap to the chapel. You we can hear like some to... muttering at the top of the wall as you say this. Well, it's still dark out, and I don't know you. We're not opening the gate until morning. Very well. <laughs> well. Are you going to stay here or go around the town? What did he say? Well, they're not going to open the gate until morning. So mm. we could stay here or try to go around. Well, I could we, well, uh, we have okay. a revenant behind us now. I doubt the revenant's after us, though. Yeah, anybody we've happened. anybody we've killed that was living. I think on that. Hmm. Yeah, this wouldn't be. We haven't killed any humans here, unless you've all been busier than I've thought. Give I've me everyone a. Uh, give me another intelligence check, real quick. Everyone. Uh, by everyone. the way, uh, on the road <laughs> traveling here. Uh, I would have liked to brief the children to, to not say a word where we are heading and who those two are. I'm... 18, pretty. 20, let's go. Finally um. a good roll. Ravale. Yes? You remember that a revenant is a spirit, not an actual undead body, because if a revenant's body is destroyed or otherwise unavailable, the spirit of the Revenant will simply enter another humanoid corpse. Oh. <laughs> I would like to tell that everyone. Also, out of game, anything that Perro actually sent, uh, tells like for you to you directly, might as well just, uh, was it kind of speed it up and say that you already tell us that? Yep. So. Oh, well, I mean, Varus didn't tell us what's inside the book. No one had to ask. I did ask, but everyone just shut me up. Because we're not in the appropriate places to talk about it. Are we now? <laughs> I feel like there's a connection now, by the way between the Revenant and the book eventually. So I would like to know what kind of book that is you got there. What oh. is your uh, we connection? We can do that offer? when we find a room for the night. Where exactly are you getting the information that the Revenant and the book are connected? I yeah, I can I'm count one and one together. Really, can you? 
Uh-huh. Where are you getting your one and one? You have a book that you found at the graveyard way back there, and it was an empty grave, mind you, and now you have a revenant coming out of the lake. Well, suddenly a revenant, something very specific, suddenly shows up without eventually, like, no, not eventually, wait, wrong word, without uh, no clear reason, and I don't... You're in a land where the dead do not rest easy, and they are everywhere. You just have been actually rolling very well on your random encounters not to see a mass majority. Oh. Oh, So is that a coincidence? No, wait, it's a revenue. It can't be a coincidence. I mean, I don't have something cursed on me. Do you people? Another thing to think on is Sprod has killed hundreds of adventurers. Pretty sure more than a few of them would wish to have revenge. So a revenant could actually be a, the revenant could be hunting Strahd, or those related to him. I mean, I don't remember That's doing anything that could piss off someone that much to become a revenant. All right. What now we've gotten that expose out of the way. Are you guys going to wait till morning or travel around Much the town? Time till morning. Uh, I got to morning. Yeah, how much time do we have to wait until morning? About six hours. So, how? Wait, let me take a look at the map again. Never mind. <laughs> uh, we might not have time for morning. Wait. Mm. La, 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 la. Although okay. Rivali is driving. <laughs> wait. Well, I could, you know, do a mission. Six test, hours, you so say? I sneak in. <laughs> That's a clue. Uh, yeah, let's not point cause any problems. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> Technically, six. you're not the only one who could misty step in. Uh-huh. Uh, people? There's only one you issue. Know, with you, wait, Alice. hold on. What if, what if we go do a misty step and knock him out, you know? I'm just your, misty step, your misty step will light everything on fire around you. Yes. Oh, damn it. Mine <laughs> would actually not light anything on fire. People? You're welcome to try it, but uh, you'll have to roll to see how many houses you burn down and people Let's die. Let's not do it. that. Let's not misty step in. <laughs> people, um, we could instead of waiting for six hours, Wait. we could uh, travel further six hours, and in four hours we would arrive at our destination. I have an idea. Hmm. Let's go idea. ahead and do that. Spider climb. No, that's I... not spider climb. That's that's. Or we that's can just around. wait and maybe evade the revenant. How would they know? How would they know? <laughs> I mean, they're staring right at you. <laughs> <laughs> not if we go on the side, you know. <laughs> I'm sure this guy's along the whole path. Mm-hmm. What you guys doing? I would say, see if we go around. Okay, there is a small trail leading down south. It's not very well warm. It's still usable. Why are we afraid of the Revenant we dealt with Agatha? Hello? There's a Revenant never truly died. You can't fight that thing. Are you crazy? Are you not? Well, were we going to fight it? Yeah, we were going to fight it. The guards aren't going to let you in. <laughs> oh, look, another gate yeah. are the guards. Yes. Yes, the guards along the okay. whole thing. <laughs> you know, you could ride alongside them. Oh, look, another gate are the guards. Yes. 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 Okay. There's guards along what do we the do whole now? gate. You can see guards patrolling along every 20 feet or so. We're not getting in. Let's go. All right. You're at so a crossroads. What wait? are you going to take? Uh, I would probably take uh, the eastbound. Eastbound? I would say go not east, uh, west. <laughs> Sorry, westbound. I would say go west. That takes us closer to that way. We're going west anyway. 
So. To the right. To the left. Uh, okay, into the forest we go. Why not? <laughs> and then we'll. Give me a perception check, everyone. Perception. Almost a 20 again, a 14. Jesus. <laughs> My God! He sees God. everything. We he has spider eyes. Passive perception is 18. Yep. <laughs> what is my passive right. perception? Basically, that's your ability to notice things without actively looking. Darren, How you find a hidden stash of clothes what? seemingly buried out of sight near the road. Just some common clothes like any commoner would wear. Need a shovel? No, it's just clothes. Any tracks around? None that you can see. Is he telling us? He's still looking. Okay, while well, he's looking, uh, where do I see my passive perception? Oh, wait, I found it. Never mind. Yeah. I have 17 passive insights. Yep. Ooh. What you so doing, if you don't want to, you know, roll, you okay. can just use passive. What's wrong there? It was buried on the side of the road here. Hmm. I wonder why. Is something around us? Or sneaking up or something? I have a feeling there's something that. There. Wait, how do the clothes look like? Are they bloody? They're just no, commoner they're just clothes, common. nice and clean, just folded and hidden under some leaves by the side of the road. I had to have some commoner clothes along the way. Clean, Let's looks see. like fresh ones. If if he's telling us all this. <gasps> Wait. Nothing Aren't there werewolves here? Among other things. What if those clothes belong to a werewolf currently in werewolf form? Okay, so no tracks within the area, right? None. Okay, so nothing's been here recently. So no one approves no. of my Unless werewolf theory? To... That might be a werewolf, it might be something else. Something that flies? There are more than just werewolves. No Where tracks, you say? Can... Derek knows there's no tracks because he's the one that found them. Yeah. So something that maybe flies? Are there were-birds or something? Do were-birds exist? an intelligence check. Go ahead, <laughs> Almost at the, it's at the at two. It's at. Are you bullshitting me? It's at the edge of the thingy. As far as you know, and what you remember, you don't know of any avian look werewolves or avian type wares. Wait, but maybe there are avian races here, like bird Perhaps. people. Oh. But what are y'all doing now? Uh, Varus, can you cut? Do you have a uh, detect magic uh, equipped already? Um, let me double check. I don't believe I do. I mean, we okay. could check for a magic or something. Can I use danger like sense? What's that? May I use danger but sense? You may. All right. I'm gonna use danger sense. Define, it actually defined sense if there's celestial fiend undead. That's what I meant. Divine sense. Ooh, sense nothing. Okay. <laughs> Damn, just... Venom. Yes. Do you have it ready? Or do we need uh, 10 minutes? 
Let me double check. Hold on. Cause if we're talking about like, what I ha if I can detect magic, I can do that. But uh, can you do it instantly? Like, is the spell prepared? Uh, you wanna find out? <laughs> I mean, I can do that too, then. You know, but I don't have it prepared. We could cast the spell itself, or we could cast it as a ritual, which means it wouldn't take a spell slot. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It takes ten minutes to cast. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Okay, wait, what do I have? Uh, what spells do I have? Uh, detect good and evil I can do. Does it also work? Not for... Well, it depends on if it's magic that's aligned to good or evil. Detect evil and good. Uh, wait, how do I know... Which spell can be cast as a ritual? It'll yeah, stay in the description. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, for example, detect magic. Description. Uh, uh, really? Detect magic is can be a ritual? I'm uh, currently blind, I don't see the it. word ritual here. Hey. Yeah, detect magic first. Uh, yeah, casting time action or ritual. Yes. It'll usually say, it'll usually have, yeah, it'll... I saw one ritual action spells plus... have a ritual marker to it. Wait, uh, where exactly are you looking? I am looking inside the character builder under spells. No, I'm looking at the spell, the spell itself in the player's handbook. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should do that too, because I don't uh, read a ritual otherwise. Wait. Uh... It's, under, it's under casting time. Casting time? Sorry, people. Uh -huh. Casting time, one action. Yeah, it just says one action plus ten minutes. It uh, doesn't look like it's a ritual spell. What's well, your magic is? Uh, Z's? 18. Spells detect magic. I knew it. He is very far. Never mind, he's gone. Detect magic. There, there magic is. detection one action duration casting time one action there. yeah sorry I don't dare it you suddenly realize ah, that there. there are okay scarecrows where there weren't any before <laughs> just motionless little construct sitting by the forest edge okay found it Yeah, I can do detect magic too, and uh, okay. uh, detect evil and good here. if necessary, or detect poison and disease. What I is? think she whispers that there. Scarecrows. Scarecrows. Company. Do they see us? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Should we just try stick around or fight them? Wait, scarecrows? Uh, I have a feeling we're probably going to have to fight them. I don't right. think Zana, Scarecrow Zana should Zana be moving. Up. Zana readies up with her weapon. Okay, um, I guess we are fighting the Scarecrows. We're not going to have a chance to do anything else. I want to use an act. Hey, take an action. You may. Uh, <laughs> let me get here I to wanna... protect you. What? I'm going to use uh, Eldritch Blast on number one. Alright. Oh, what the? Okay, 
forums. I don't need the forums, damn game. Valus, would you maybe <laughs> like to... Like, yeah, yeah, just forums. But no, I don't want forums. Get out of my way. Damon, would you like to stand uh, underneath me? In a line. That's a 14. Oops, sorry. That will okay. be a hit. That's now the I first can... one, because this is a double. Here's the second one. That's a 19. That's a hit. So... 10 and 17 total damage. All right, so number one. one, and that's her action. She's actually, but she's going to step a little farther out so that. So 17 damage to one. Mm -hmm. I need everyone to make a wisdom saving throw. I would have liked to cast Sacred Flame. In case they are okay. undead. That's uh, ten. Still... Oh, yes, before I, I do like which saving throw, can I do something before uh doing that? Sure. Okay. That was a ten. Can I use fireball on number three? You may. And can I cast sacred flame to see if they are undead? There we go. But sure. you can to use We'll okay. use a, I used my heroic inspiration to reroll that will save. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I might be wrong to use mine too. <laughs> I don't think I like a Why? ten. There we go. <laughs> Sixteen. <laughs> okay. I reroll. Well, give me one sec here. All right, come here, lay down. And number three yeah. is the one you're aiming at. Yes. All right, that's a hit. Roll for damage. Okay. I didn't know scarecrows can be enemies. <laughs> I thought they always um, stand idle inside the field. I mean, there's You'd evil be spirits everywhere. It's a 15. And, and it's on fire, so roll your fire damage. Where is the field? There, is, there isn't one. Exactly. You don't need a shield. I think your fire thing is 1d6. Yeah, okay. I think so. Don't forget yeah, the passive uh, fire okay. damage. Yep, that's what I'm getting him for. I was like, what is it again? <laughs> that is a stick. Wow. How would you like to murder this thing? Wow. Oh, they're scarecrows. He just lit it up like a matchstick. He yep. Pretty much. How would you like to murder the scarecrow? Oh. <laughs> you managed to one shot it. Way to go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, DM. I know you hate my character. First it's okay. look. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's like an explosion, basically. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> the teal. It's like a fire, like a firework kind of. Thing. <laughs> God. <laughs> In the arms of the scarecrow. God bless every car. Oh, uh, so wisdom seven throw, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. You want my initiative? And I would like to uh, you, uh, cast sacred flame on number one. Okay, roll the hit. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, barely in range. Okay. Uh, it has a dexterity sixteen. Uh, with, uh, yeah, saving throw. How do I roll to hit with it again? It's a... Uh, it's, it's a save. save. It's gotta make a save. Ah, make yeah. A save. Dexterity 16 saving throw. Mm -hmm. And... Audible. They rolled a 16. Does it pass? It pass. Yes. So does it take no damage? Nope. 
Oh, you know what? I feel like I move all my initiative too. Hold on. There you go. Okay, that was a wisdom saving throw. How? Okay. My god, David. Okay. Eleven. A fifteen. Is that good? Yep. I would yeah, like to know why. <laughs> and I'll need your initiative as well, Rivale. Are they casting sleep on us? Oh, hey, it's so team. They're just, they're just looking at you. <gasps> don't look into their eyes. I don't know, it's a scarecrow. I don't know anything about it. I just know they stand inside the field and spook away birds. <gasps> birds! Those clothes belong to a bird. No? Your okay. leaps in logic are amazing to me, I will say that. <laughs> Let's focus on things I that are more. <laughs> I try to find out things at least here. True, you but do. People right, say, me, 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 no, uh, not now, not today, uh, no, don't talk, let's run away, stuff like that, you know? Ah, uh, because yeah. certain points in time need to be? 15, 20. Bidi, 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 bidi. Was that the spell? <gasps> they are spellcasters, let me cast silence. DBDB, fuck you. Do I roll a dexterity saving scroll? <laughs> no, you just see a middle finger pop up in your face and tell you to wait one second here. <laughs> <laughs> and you are used to action. That is gonna be a hit. Uh, it's not piercing damage. <laughs> Good thing. We'll make that another hit. How much different is a revenant to a wrath? Or whatever that was again in the uh, Mines of Handel. 12 damage. I would like to use my reaction. Okay. Uh. Uh. Actions. Uh, interception 1d 10 plus 13. Uh, 1d 10 plus 13? Uh, plus 3, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. No, no. <laughs> 13 is the maximum I can have. Sorry. 1d okay. 10 plus 3. <laughs> That's my proficiency thingy. Uh, 1d 10. A 2 plus 3 is a 5. I negate 5 okay, damage. Okay, so you take uh, 7 damage. To Valis. And I got a new sound. <laughs> Valis, anything you want to do? I got you, my bra. Um... My cuddle partner. They hit, hmm. they hit you twice. Oh, uh, they hit me twice. Oh, wait, yep. hold on. I only have one reaction. Uh, who, who got hit twice? Me or...? Me. You. You. Okay, so can I roll for a Hellish Rebuke then? Yes. Okay. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's a deck 14. But, uh, I just roll a dice anyway. They rolled 19. Why are they okay. rolling so high? Don't question me. <laughs> oh, have that. <laughs> wow. Dollar. And they will be already. Fire, Whitney. It is a fire spell, is it not? Yep. yep. So they uh, have. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta roll for a 1d6, huh? What was that sound mm -hmm. just now? <laughs> <laughs> Any fire spell? Is your second name by any chance Lucifer or Satan? <laughs> well, so I do like <laughs> Satan. I do like Lucifer, so I mean, <laughs> I think it has a phrase, you know? I think it has a compliment. <laughs> 
What is it? Oh, you know, Morning Star. <laughs> Why isn't it? Lucifer it technically is Morning Star, so. Yeah, Lucifer Morning Star. That's five more days. I guess you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty, that's your turn. Uh, now it's Xanafia's turn. Hmm. Going to throw another Elder's Flask since that range. One is going to go at number one. If this, if the first one goes at and hits number one, then the other one will go hit two. But let's see if we can... That's a 10, so no. 19 on the second hit. But the second one's gonna go hit one anyway. If the first one didn't hit number one. Wait, uh, silence? That's a hit. The, so, oh, first, the huh? first one is not a hit, the second one is. So the second one hits number one. All right. And that is 11 damage. It's still a standard. Huh, I almost forgot. Hmm. <gasps> Combat music. You triggered the boss fight. <laughs> Uh, David, silence says uh, it's also a ritual. Does it mean I can technically cast silence without the spell slot too? It takes ten minutes to do that, though. Yep. Okay. Yeah, ritual, ritual spells means that they can be cast without using the spell slot. I if you cast them as a ritual, but rituals take ten minutes to cast. Do you want to let's try and stay in battle for ten minutes? Trying to cast one spell. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we could no, thank you. talk she to a wizard for 10 minutes. Just so, if something happens, you know, yeah. and cast silence when necessary without wasting the spell slot. Just saying. Um, <laughs> Who's a good talker? Let's concentrate on this right now. Let's concentrate. Yeah, yeah. Let's concentrate I'm taking this out of character. Bike, not is that the rest of your turn, Sanafia? Yes. yes. Alrighty. It is going to be Derek's turn next. Um. Hey. Going to kill the hot, po hot potato? <laughs> yeah, oh. May as well as take a swing at it. Why not surround 17? it? That's a hit. Or 16 points of damage. All right. It's still up. Okay. How much damage did Dem Venom do? That, it, that he killed number three instantly. Over 30 in one hit. With Firebolt? Yep. Do they take double damage? Possibly. Anything else you're going to do, Derek? Oh! Yeah, I'm but, gonna okay. Use my bonus action to do a draw. But why didn't Hellish right. Rebuke kill number four then? Because it's it, is it uh, succeeded its throw? Oh, <sighs> that's my turn. Oh wow! All okay. Right. <gasps> it is now number one's turn. I need a torch. Burp and a burp. Not a bup, bup, bup. Hi, kitty. I need my leg. Give me that it back. <laughs> it's just going to land the leg for some time. And it's going to hit you twice. 
for a total of 10 Eight. damage. Alright. Wow, not 10. Is there a way to have multiple reactions? No. Oh. Action? There was a reaction that I could take, but I'm gonna hold off on that one. Alright, that's gonna be its turn then. It is now. Da 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 da. Rivali's turn. Ah. Wait, how about it? Six. Why is it my turn now? Because it is. I mean, I rolled a 13, but okay. Uh, well. Uh, I don't like uh, number four being uh, on Dam Venom. I would like to cast Sacred Flame again. Dexterity saving throw 16 on number four. So, Sacred Flame? Yes. Dexterity 16. Well, it rolled very poorly, so roll your damage. Yay! Finally, it works again. 2d8. Ooh, not bad. A 7. Radiant damage, please. How would you like to murder this thing? Yes! Uh, <laughs> I'm snipping my fingers and uh, the scarecrow becomes unalive again. <laughs> Alrighty. I mean, it's not turning into ashes like that one bandit. How can you know? Wait, but flame is... is that is fire thing? It's radiant damage. All right, is that the end of your turn? Yes. Wait, no, I have. Hmm. I could surround number one. Would that help the Nafia in any way? I mean, it would be solely it would be solely focused on her. I mean, uh, can we also surround enemies and give them a debuff in some sort? No, you don't have uh, wolf pack tactics. Oh. Yeah, we don't, we don't have pack tac tactics. Yeah, then I'm just going to step up. Uh... Xana's gonna give you a look as you do so. What? I have this one. Y yes, great. I am not going to steal your candy or something. Sheesh. Okay. She's not worried about uh, stealing the kill. She's worried about getting too close to the enemies. Uh, She's the tank. <laughs> No, I already wasted my action. I have a bonus action left. I don't have anything useful to do with a bonus action. Hmm. I think that's everything I can do. I would like to end my turn now. Alrighty. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. It is now going to be number two's turn. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Is there a way for me to use interception on myself? No. Not at all? Aww. No. Aww. Alright. That's gonna be one hit for four damage. Protection. Four. What's that? Can I use protection? Is he going to hit Rivali? Uh, yep. Can I use protection? You may. Alright, I'm going to force it to re-roll it. At a disadvantage. I'm going to pose a disadvantage to attack roll. Alright, it misses them. Yay! Finally, my armor is working, but now it doesn't take spiky damage. All 
All right, that's going to be its turn. Valis, your uh, previous wisdom save didn't save, save you from uh, accidentally looking into a scarecrow's eyes, and you are mm. paralyzed. I was, oh my god, I was joking by the way earlier. <laughs> but I'm very happy that I didn't. God damn it. <laughs> so, so I can't really do nothing, basically. Nope. Uh, damn it. Well, I guess I can't really do anything, so. <gasps> People don't look <laughs> into the eyes. Alright. I wish somebody would have told me, you know. <laughs> Now back to the top of the order, it's Xanathia. I'm going to use my attack with my sword. All right. That is a 22. A hit. That's a hit. And I'm, is, is it undead? No, it's, is it, it undead? Is a it is a construct. It's not on dead. Okay. All right. Yeah. So sacred flame yeah. would have told I'm going to use a bonus action anyway to do um, branding smite. All right. Oh wow! I believe that is a bonus action, and I'm going to use branding smite at a yeah second level anyway. Right, so your, I'll do uh, my regular damage, then yep. I'll roll my uh, branding smite damage. That is a 12 damage. Poof. How would you like to murder it? Okay, so I don't have to use my branding. <laughs> okay, that works. You saved me a spell slot. Um, just Double basically code. chop it into, uh, cut it into twigs, basically. Don't kill. And yeah. that would be. You could move and attack. I can't attack again. You have a bonus action. Yeah, I have a bonus action, but none of my attacks are using bonus. <laughs> I don't have another another weapon that could use bonus. So. What about planting smite just now? That right. requires a weapon attack before. That oh. requires my weapon attack. And since my weapon attack oh, okay. is already killed, so that it's will be like her time. An attack buff, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's Xana's turn. Alrighty, it is now Derek's turn. In... Eleven. That's a hit. Oh, okay. Eighteen. Not bad. All righty. Bonus action will be withdrawn. Disengage. Oh, okay. That's my turn. All right. It is now. Isn't Revali's dis turn? Isn't disengage a action action? No, for nope. me. No, oh. For his class is a bonus. Oh, okay. Yep. Cool. Oh, wow. Okay. Rogues are about mobility. Scouts even more so. I need a feat to attack with my shield as a bonus action. <laughs> or attack twice. What are you doing, Ravale? So, my turn. Um, yeah. Sorry, I overheard it. Uh, you know what? I would like to uh, let nature talk and 
cast nature's glow. <laughs> Let me roll to hit. It's a 12. That's a hit. Yes. Uh, Sylvanus, uh, share your opinion, please. Nice. See that guy? I don't want to anymore. Maximum damage, let's go! <laughs> 11. Literally maximum damage. It's still standing. God damn it. Probably singing the Elton John song. <laughs> mm. Uh... Uh, can I hey. use my bonus action for something? Uh, uh, only uh, no, nah, I'm not going to waste it on spiritual weapon. Nope, I nope, that's it. That's it for me. Maybe oh. I put my, myself between them, Venom, and uh, the Scarecrow. Okay. Because he's paralyzed. And that's my turn. Yeah. I'm riding up my shield. Yeah, Number you two just... Shield. You just stepped about five feet away from... Protection. <laughs> but, you know... Go ahead. I can't well, use it misses my both of its now. attacks on Rivali anyway. Ha! So, nature protects! Valis, it's your turn and you are no longer paralyzed. Ah, oh, great. Mo lovely. Move out of my way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think... Uh, can I do Missy Step? You know what? You... It's whatever. <laughs> Good. Uh, I want a Missy Step over here. Would that be necessary? Uh, I mean, everyone in 20 feet now has to worry about fire. <laughs> Damn, Venom, please really? no. Wait, how far is... 20 feet. 20 feet. Yeah. 20 feet. So if I move back one more, would Jennifer be fine then? What about Good. me? <laughs> oh, you, you know exactly what. <laughs> what anyway. did I do? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do Missy stuff. Um... Uh, Why do I even protect radius? that venom? It's yeah. a radius, yes. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, that would still get Zonafia. Uh, it yep. would still get me. Oh, it still got you? Damn it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, hello? <laughs> Let me move back one more so I didn't get Jennifer. That's how <laughs> What the fish? So, okay. what's your spell, DC? Um, my DC, it doesn't say. Uh, what is it? Copy your spell book. Sounds like it's a dexterity saving throw. Yep. Ah, uh, the city saving throw? Yep. At the top of your spells, it'll say your save DC. And I believe yours is 14. Mm. All right, so Rivali and the Scarecrow need to roll deck saves. You know what? I'm just gonna learn my lesson and let natural selection flow is flow. <laughs> A 16. You both succeed. Damn so roll Come your four d roll your four d six and they'll take half with no burning. Oh, okay. I mean, hey, it's fine, slowly. <laughs> and I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's fair. How much is that? Twelve? Was that twelve or? That'd be twelve total. So they both take six damage. Okay. Uh, and what else can I do? <laughs> He goes up in a puff of flame and smoke. For volley, yeah. you take six damage. Technically, that is a bonus action. So Ouch! Uh... 
Why? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. No question. It. <laughs> can I still do fireball? Because that misty step can be used as bonus action. So. Uh... Yep. I mean, it's dead on the uh, explosion of fire from your teleport point. Oh, he's dead already. Oh, okay. Never mind. Then. <laughs> so you little meteor, you. You, you, you. <laughs> Do you want me to put out the fire? Because I have Tidal Wife if you want that one too. <laughs> Sad no. part is, I think he's actually at the uh, limit of how far away he can teleport. Do not waste your spell slot. I think that was like, that was a map. We have stuff to investigate. Alrighty. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna use the bathroom. <laughs> Alrighty. You're right back. That sounds like a constitution saving throw. <laughs> well, Hello? what about the clothes? Where did they come from? You all get 200 XP. Oh, nice. Okay. Oops. Wrong. Where did they come from? Are we not going to uh, talk about the clothes further? I mean, if you guys want to stick here and talk about the clothes some more, you can. I mean, where did they come from? Are they related to the clothes? As far as you know, they came out of the forest. And where are the clothes located? In the forest. Yeah, well, in the same direction or across the road? From the forest, all around you. Damn it, where did they come from? No, considering the scarecrows, probably from a field somewhere. Since they I were most it. likely animated by someone or something, since. Uh, maybe Strahd, maybe been wandering for vic wander around in the forest looking for people to be their victims. We might as well just Honestly, go ahead Honestly, I don't get into the mind of those things. Maybe, I don't know how they work. Like, okay. Just like I don't always know how you flesh you fuck these work. Do we check the clothes? We already did. I mean, we just saw them. We didn't, like, check them physically. Or did we? They are just plain clothes. I saw. No items I or a notes? In the ground. It looks like somebody's going here. It could be. Could be there's an expedi expedi ex There's a streak right here somewhere. Could be a where, uh, could be a lycanthrope. Who knows? Let's just leave the clothes. Just want to stay here and watch them. Okay, okay. Let's just have leave the clothes and go ahead and go. Then let's advance, I guess. But let's yep. not forget to pick up uh, Dan Venom from behind the tree. Uh, Zen is going to pick up uh, Valus and put him in the garage. Oh, while he's using, while he's behind the tree taking care of business? Oh boy, that's gonna get messy. <laughs> Let oh. him finish peeing first. <laughs> Thank you. I would like to uh, tell the children again and teach them, the do not look into scarecrow eyes. They were inside the thing. They were inside the carriage. Yes. I can't see out. I'm just telling them. Why they look into my red glowing eyes? <laughs> How about you focus on getting your horses and stuff prepped? Okay, okay. Also, I would have liked to uh, tell Pyotr and Siljanka? I forgot her name again. Soljata. Soljata? Koljata. Okay, Koljata, Koljata, Koljata. Uh, I would li like to give them... Hello, welcome back. I would like to give them a little bit uh, of outside information about stuff like never winter in case someone asks where they are coming from outside because undercover and stuff. Anyway, they let's... Uh, they already know. Okay. We, we went over this before we left. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> I don't remember anymore. I wasn't sure. Okay, never mind. Then forget that. I think our cleric's been forgetful here. <laughs> the dementia. I was too lazy my... to check the diary, okay? <laughs> AKA VOD. 
Anyway, let's proceed. I All can't right, move the go. cabbage, so yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yes. I don't know. Where are they get driving? <laughs> I can't drive, I can't click on the carriage. Actually, okay. Uh, I don't have the <laughs> driving rights. Okay. Where we go are left. you uh, going? We're probably going to go north. West. Let's go right. Right? No. <laughs> Nein, <laughs> up! No! From how we are looking currently, yes. And probably go from there to the right. Yes. No, wait, right. why, why not left? You want to stay in the forest? Okay, never mind then. <laughs> I just thought there was something interesting, maybe. There could be, but do we want to, do we want to take time to explore? I mean, why not? All right, you Wait. are back on the main road on the other side of the Okay, Velocity. I'm switch. You know what? Let me just take off my head. Oh, we mm -hmm. are proceeding. We don't try to oh. enter here. So what you guys are saying you're going around the uh, village. It's still early morning. It's only been like an hour. But maybe yeah, he's let's letting us go. Because we're, we're just wasting time here. We might as well We've go got on. Passengers were trying to get yeah. to a safe haven. Oh, By the way, there it. What did? What did you find inside the shop? Huh? What did David he find inside the, the shop? shop now of while he's preoccupied by driving. Focus on yes, driving. There me. is a massive list of essential. I mean, do we have garlic? <laughs> oh look, the third bridge. Yep. Let's see. And let me get my map. So that would be 1.5 hours or something. Well, there was no garlic. What as if? None at all? Nope. Don't tell me you ate the only garlic in the whole campaign. Hmm. I mean, okay, it would make sense that it's rare here. Oh my god, is garlic something like the secret uh, underneath the table uh, product? Uh, Alright, you guys are now at the Luna River Crossroads. You're at an X intersection with branches to the northwest, northeast, southwest, and southeast. The lower half of a snapped wooden signpost thrusts upwards at an angle near the eastern elbow of the intersection. Oh, wait a the second. The top half of the sign, featuring arms pointing in four directions, lies in the weeds nearby. Okay, people listen here. That's interesting. The map doesn't say that there is a, a turn to the north. Let's not worry about the turn to the north. We got passengers to deliver. Yeah, I'm, I'm just mentioning. Uh, does it say... Uh, uh, does the sign say where it's going north? You gonna hop out and uh, pick up the sign then? I thought it's laying. Yep. You putting the sign back together? Uh, I would like to check for traps and dangers first. Give me an investigation. Uh, in, in, in investigation, come on. An 11. Would anyone like to help me your... investigate? How much is your passive investigation? Passive investigation? That's a 12. Then. Okay, well. Mm. Not that much. Almost as good. Hey, I'll take the 12, please. Alright. There are no traps. No dangers, no enemies, no revenants walking behind us. Nope. Uh, is the village burning by any chance now? <laughs> you wouldn't be able to tell from this distance. No giant smoke, clouds on the horizon, nope. no? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, well, y yes. Do we have Just 10 minutes, time. people? What? If it's not... 
No, okay. Uh, we, yes. We, I would like to pick up. We don't need to bother with it. We should. Let uh, Derek finish. Because we know where we're going. That's yes, far, if we want to investigate, if we want to come back and go through a more thorough investigation, we can. We, I think we've already made enough side trips with uh, our Yeah, customers. okay. We can come we really back. shouldn't be making okay. too many until we find a, them a safe uh, place let's, to stay. Okay, let's proceed with the road. We go okay. to the left the, side. Uh, the west. Yeah, yes, to the, the west. Left. I will left. take this time to hand both El and Xenophia a stone each, smooth with a ma both of which come with matching carvings. A stone. Yep. An engraved stone. A smooth stone. Yep. Smooth stone. Okay. Thank you. Invisible hand I'm from the immaterial. <laughs> are you gonna let them know what they are? Sending stones. Ah. You're able to use the sending spell from them once per day. Oh, where did you get those? Oh, they're from my shop. <laughs> okay, it's, um... So, your shop alone? Oh, does anybody else have the deeds to the place? Has deeds to the place? I mean, I at least have, like, maybe 2%. Depends on how much the shop is worth and how much two holy water are worth. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Wait, sending stones and sending stone is one stone. Okay. You are at the Raven River Crossroads. Ah. Huh. Okay. You see a weather-worn signpost next to the roads. The three arms of the sign point along the three branches. The arm pointing north reads Kresk, and through the woods you can see an arched stone bridge spanning the river. The arm pointing east reads Velaki, and the road slopes up gradually in that direction. The arm pointing southwest reads the Wizard of Wines. The road slopes gently downward in that direction. Be right up here. Go continue with the tropi <gasps> mission. The winery is close by. I think I know where the scarecrows came from. But yeah, let's go across yeah. the bridge. Wait, wait. Can I see that on the right while going across the bridge? Yes, you actually would be able to see the uh, tower there. I was going to say, oh, nice river, nice uh, uh, pool of water. But wait a second, what is that? Wait, let me check my map. Oh! People, uh, a heads up. There is something here that is not on the map. It's uh, a let's tower. Let's not worry about that Oops. right now. Just saying. Okay, thank you for the heads up, though. Wait, Considering this... he's driving, and everyone else is in the carriage. Uh, also, there is a lake here. It is not on the map too? Okay, interesting. But the river is, for some reason. So, hello. Add one item, one sending stone, thank you. Okay. Alright. You are coming up Old Svalich Road, and you can stone. see the Abbey. And Kresk. Oh, wow. That's much larger than I expected. <laughs> it does feel large. What mm -hmm. are those? From what you can tell, things. the town itself. The town? What things? It has a wall. Oh, it stone walls even. You see that the uh, road branches north and climbs a rocky escarpment. It ends in a gatehouse built into a 20 foot high wall of stone, reinforced with buttresses 50 feet or so. 
You can tell this encloses a settlement on the side of a snow-dusted mountain spur. Beyond the wall, you see the tops of snow-covered pines. <laughs> Hi, kitty. And what thin white wisps of smoke. The somber toll of a bell comes from a stone abbey that clings to the mountainside high above the settlement. The steady chime is inviting. A welcome change from the deathly silence and oppressive fog to which you have grown accustomed. It's hard to tell at this distance, but there seems to be a switchback road clinging to the cliffs that lead up to the walled settlement, the abbey. Well, yeah, that's step out for a bit. That's amazing. Unless uh, it's full of undead already. But Reminds me of my temple. As you approach the walled settlement, the air grows colder as you climb. Uh-oh. Two square towers with peaked roofs flank a stone archway into which is set a pair of 12-foot-tall, iron-bound wooden doors. Carved into the arch above the doors is the name Kresk. The walls that extend from the gatehouse are 20 feet up high. There we go. Atop okay. the parapet, you see four figures wearing fur hats and clutching spears. They look at you nervously. Xana's going to step out of the carriage. Do we look like the truck investigation or something? You're in a land of undead, vampires, and horrid things. I would like to take off my head. I bet you already took it off. Yeah, I did. Um, <laughs> He's making sure. Uh, what yeah. are those lines on the map? Do they indicate that there is a steep height difference? Yep. yep. Essentially, okay. going up the map, up those lines from thinnest to largest, wow. is essentially, I think it's 10 feet tall. So, plus 1,000 means 1,000 feet. Uh, feet? Leave so. So... Oh, 100 wow. feet. Because if you look at the top of the map, you can see plus 100, 200, 300, 400, yes. 6, 7, 8, 900, and 1,000. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. So wow. That's going... Hello. What business do you have in Kresk? We have a couple of people seeking refuge in the Abbey. We have children. And yes, we also have a couple of kids. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have a photo. <laughs> oh, there's so <laughs> many notable people that didn't have a fucking photo. <laughs> so those aren't just normal guards? Oh. What do you mean, not normal guards? Well, like the guards earlier. <laughs> they tell you to wait a moment as they fetch the burgomaster of the entire town. Okay, people, we are here to deliver the children and we leave P Piotr and Kolyanka here just for their own protection, okay? No other uh, reason. Uh, no. No. We came here to deliver them to safety. And yes. that's what we're going to do. Okay. The yeah. children are not going to leave them. The children are not going to leave them. The chancellor has arrived? The burgomaster has arrived. Ah. Hello. Hi! I'm very well, with my hand. Allow me to handle this. Hello, sir. We have a few people seeking refuge in the Abbey. Hmm. And who are you to have such business within the town my very ancestors made? We are just coming simply to for refuge. And if we can possibly do, assist in any way we can. I see. Unfortunately, I cannot allow you into the city, but if you wish to aid us, I will allow you to enter. 
May I ask what is the problem? For many days, as you can tell, this the land of Barovia is steeped in misery, thanks to Strahd himself. However, my people are growing low on wine. If you were to go to the Wizards of Wine's winery to the south and secure the wagon load that I ordered earlier but never arrived, I'd be able to lift the spirits of my people and I would, by the oath of my office and honor as a noble of Barovia, be required to show you hospitality. Hmm. Very well. We'll I would like to secure. say something. We will be happy to secure this, but go ahead. Okay. Uh, would it be alright... Uh, I mean... to For now, for the time being, uh, to at least have uh, the children and uh, two adults to look after the children here? I mean, they are children in Bavaria that almost uh, got very unlucky in some way. Because it's Bavaria, you know what I mean. It can mean anything, and you don't want to know. Um, and they have currently he's, no home. He's going to look at you and see that you are a man of the faith and demand yes. one singular thing from you. Give me an oath on the name of your very god that you will do so then. We'll take the commoners and children in, but you and your compatriots must fetch the wagon load as promised. Oh sure, if you uh, give an oath that you are not going to eat the children. Really? Or adults. Really? <laughs> Someone's going to look at you like, really? Really? I mean, how? Kyle's going to look at you strangely, and I will attempt to do my best, though I doubt I'll need to try hard. Very well. Back away we from the gate and let them uh, out. Okay. Is 17 insights uh, enough to know if he's telling the truth? Where's your roll? I have 17 I passive his... insights. But I can you try can to hold for that, higher. You can tell from your passive that Dimitri himself seemed distraught over something. But given how tragedy filled the land is, you would not be able to know without asking him. I happen to notice you seem to look very distraught. What happened? Also, yes, I swear as an oath by my god uh, that we shall do your bidding. That is all I require of you, and whatever my personal business is, is none of yours. Let them out, and we'll let the children and people in. I, Zana goes in. It's like, all right, you two, you four, go on and get inside. Children, and Piotr and Kolyanka, you two of our adventurous group, uh, please uh, look after the children while we are busy, okay? Okay. Don't worry if you miss like... any fights on our future adventures. <laughs> I'm sure they're not worried about pet, Wale, pet, you... shoulder pet. Yes. Are you done now? Yes. Okay, let me finish. Sorry. All four of them are going to hop out of the carriage and walk towards the gate. Stay vigilant. Dimitri's going to have. Let him finish. You done? <laughs> yes. Okay. Dimitri's going to have the gate opened enough to allow them in, and it's going to shut after them. You have successfully brought them to the Abbey and to Kresk, and the children are safe behind these high walls. However, you are now required to head back to the Wizards of Winery wine yard and find out what's gone wrong and why there's no wine arriving anywhere now. Okay, nice. Side quest, let's go! Yay! Yeah, let's go. Oh, how much XP was from the, uh, Scarecrow encounter? Oh, 200, right. Okay. Yep. Uh, Alice, did you, uh, get that? Yes. Colin, uh, add yourself, uh, 200 experience to your current XP for the Scarecrows. And you are muted. 
I am not muted. I just so. don't want to talk. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. You just don't act at all. Also, I would like to take a pull just I just remembered. So, 250, right? 200. 200. 200. Oh, okay, 200. Okay, cool. And... Bada boop. Uh, Bada boop. Wait, 26 or 1d8? Uh, All right. Healing 1d8, okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a poultice myself. <laughs> hey, it's a six. My radiant burn is gone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> uh, traveling church. That was one poultice. Nice. Okay. Uh. All right, I had a question. Uh, Parroquet, you... About a Discord DM. Uh, you haven't yeah. really answered that yet. Uh, about what you sent me about the poultices. Uh, I was... Is that meant to be like an additional upgrade? Like a further step I can do at creating better poultices? Correct. You can upgrade your tools as of right now. Oh, like okay. with the synthesis. Like with synthesis, you're able to add relevant tools to your kits and increase their efficiency, or essentially buy better kits. Oh, cool. That would be one of the benefits of doing so. Let me do my math here. 16, okay, so what was it? Infusion. Oh. Alrighty. What was an infusion again? Was it something like tea? Yes. And the cockchin? All right. What's a decoction? A decoction is essentially, if I remember correctly, decoction is where you distill it down. Ah, it's like a further step on creating tea. Yeah. Think of it instead of infusing something into water, you're infusing water into something like the difference between tea and coffee and how oh, they're Oh, yeah. I think I would, at least for distilling, I would need to know a little bit of alchemy. Correct. Mm. And... Da, 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 da. But I think brewing tea would be better. Okay. You are free to set up your characters however you like, but these things aren't even going to worry about being sneaky. <gasps> uh, people, 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 we have feathers on the road. Uh. We see that. Four of them. Five of them. <laughs> right, well, isn't that lovely? Also, I would like to note out that no one knows who Piotr and Kolyanka are. They think they are adventurers like us. No, they're looking they're after the communist. children. They're communists. Yep. Essentially put, as far as they can tell, that you're a group of adventurers that were hired to transport them to a safer place. Yes. I thought we pretend they are undercover adventurers. Yeah. You never told them that. I, nope. did, I, I did. most specifically said that, and I even gave them uh, uh, disguises. Well, you didn't tell the nobleman, though. You just told him you had some people that you were transporting. Yes, yes. two children and uh, two adults that we would like to leave uh, to look after the children. <laughs> so what, you're going to take the other two with them? With you to where you're going? No, they, they are looking after the children. Have... If they were adventurers like us, he wouldn't have let them into the city because adventurers are capable and dangerous people. Yeah. And adventurers are known to be Strahd's newest toys. Well, good thing I didn't say too much. <laughs> uh, good thing they are still undercover. Okay, we have five All werewolves. Right. Uh, First round, do what you guys want to do, then roll me your initiative. So we have, we have, we could do an action now. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to cast? How I want to use Shatter. I want to cast Shatter. About right on between, right slightly behind number three, like, yeah, uh, like 
right. Cool. Yeah. All right. And that's uh, going to be, what's the radius again? 10? Uh, the radius of, well, that's first level. That second level is, the radius is 10 feet. So, five. Your ten. squad stream is paused. <gasps> you can make a circle? So, essentially, like this? Yeah, basically. All righty. And what's the. They gotta do. They have to make a con save of fifteen, or they'll if they save, they only take half. Oh shit! It's so that is one. this uh, based on sound? Yes. It is shadow. <laughs> It's so quiet suddenly. They have all failed. Nice. <laughs> hey, How much let's damage go. are they all taken? That would be only 12 <laughs> damage. All right, give me one sec, huh? And my initiative is a 12. Uh, what spell slot were you using? Just a second. Well, damage all of them. Yeah, it's a second level. Okay. Why? Just wanted to make sure because if you only have second level spell slots, right? I have second level pack slots. Yeah, I have two okay. first levels, but shadow is a second level spell. Yeah, I mean, one just make sure. Reset the map because the game log's not showing up. There we uh. Go. Parroquet, is your Discord stream supposed to be paused? Is it? Yes, I don't hear any music right now from it, and it says stream paused. Oh, I see. Give me one sec here. Also, is your uh, stream stream muted? No. Why? Okay, good. Just checking. Again. Okay. Oh look, werewolves! Oh no, werewolves! <laughs> um, people, would you like me to mention Earth to build something like a little, I don't know, a little late for that. strategic position yeah, for us? Yeah, a lot of late to, to, to be honest. I mean, you all get one action before I start initiative on you. Would you like me to maybe, I, I don't know, make a... Uh, uh, how I do you could, call it? Uh, okay. One moment. Help me Google. Oh. A trench! How is that gonna work exactly? Would what you like you me to. Do, let Derek spin it here. Uh, I'm gonna let Vallis and Rivali go first. Uh, no, we do not have enough time to make a trench. I can. Old Earth. Yeah. Yeah, Doesn't but matter. you ain't got enough actions to do make an actual trench that's worthwhile. You got one action. Yes, I, I mean, a hole to our adventures t advantage is better than none. What is exactly a five foot hole gonna help all of a us? A five foot hole that you can't set up as a surprise because they see you doing this yep yeah i mean uh they won't be able to uh uh what is it called uh to the take uh, a slot i mean i'm gonna let you two take your actions before i take mine all right then valis what are you doing gonna cast uh tidal wave and what's going to be the range on that? Uh, it's 120 feet. Wow! Is that uh, square or cone? Uh, the range. Wait, hold on. That's the wrong one. 
Uh, 30 yeah. feet long, 10 feet wide, 10 feet tall. The mm -hmm. range is 120 feet. The so. That's how far you can cast it. The area mm -hmm. within the range can be a 30 foot long, 10 foot wide, and 10 foot tall wave, basically. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let me see here. Occupy was the word. Okay. Game. So if you... By being 30 foot long, you can actually, if you... Basically... Uh, let me... I've... As I say, I'm having some sort of issue here because something's tabbed that shouldn't be. It's not letting me move my stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's 30 feet there. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do, basically. So essentially that? Yeah. yeah. What all do they have to do? So they has to make the studies saving throw. So if they fail the, the saving throw, um, they knock you prone. Are you going? Oh. Which direction are you going? Down the map, up it, right or left? Um. Yeah. Uh. North or south? Yeah. <laughs> Where do you Let's want the right. to start? Down? You want to push them up or do you want to push them down? I want to push them up. Okay. And what's the DC for this? Uh, for me to hit with deck 14. All right. Only one failed. Okay. And they get knocked prone, you said? Not yeah. prone and take half damage. Or if they save, they just take half damage. Otherwise, right. you take 48 bludgeoning and is not prone. Roll your damage. So one werewolf is knocked prone inside the circle of Sanafia. What? What did Sanafia cast? Sad. Xenophia hasn't done anything yet. Wait, wasn't there a circle earlier? Oh yeah, so, she did. Never mind. I'm about to say, Xenophia what? Shatter. Yes, Shatter. I, I was trying to figure out what the hell you were talking about for a second, don't mind me. Yeah, Xenophia cast a Shatter. Uh, is it... Like, how long does it stay? It, it Just the one it, time. It's the one so, time it doesn't it, have it, a... Uh, Oh, it's not like a zone of daggers. Nope, it's just a big old noise in an area. Oh, so, so one... can do damage. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, okay. Yeah, so again, my idea with Bolt Earth was uh, to make a trench so that they cannot occupy that space effectively. Where are you going to put this uh, hole? If you want to, people. That's up oh, to you. It's, it's your action. That's up to you. You don't want to I mean, I would have liked to... Uh, maybe uh, put it near Dem Venom Valo so that he can get less surrounded if that happens. I generally do not give a shit. <laughs> it's your action. What do you want to do with it? What you going to do? I mean, uh, I only have one action, action, yes? Yes. yes. One action. Okay, I could. I mean, it's werewolves, hello, legendary beasts. I may as well just uh, cast and call forth my dragon slayer. Or is there something else I can do? Let me check my spells really quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'll throw a good baby <laughs> at them, no. Uh, yeah, I can either do uh, a hole for them to not occupy or uh, call forth my spiritual weapon. I think I'm gonna do that actually. Uh, wait, did I cast a spell today already? I did 
not. I forgot to unslot it. Okay. Uh, yes, I would like to uh, call forth my spiritual weapon on second level. Alright, what does that do for it? Uh, just normal uh, 1d8 plus 4 force damage. Okay. And... Yay. Where are you gonna put it? Uh, oh, I can't move it. Uh, besides Valus. <laughs> the tracks. <laughs> sure. Uh, yes, I think that's good enough. Alright. Give me your initiative then. And Derrett, what are you going to do? Uh, let's see. Yes, I know you're Brad. Will you lay down? Come on, lay down. Thank you. Kitty wants held. Okay, well, I will take this time to... Oh, where is it? Where is it? I'll take a pot shot at number one there with a uh, the dro uh, a dro venom crossbow bolt. All right, roll for it. Uh, Twelve. That's a hit. Oh. Okay. Let's see, the con save was what? Uh, Thirteen or fourteen? I, I have to look that up again. Can I prepare a ready action? Uh, uh, I have a question 15. for you. Say, what's uh, what happens if they roll a nat one for your poison? Oh, well, they're poisoned and they're asleep. Pap, roll your damage. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> That's a sleepy wolf. And he's within range for Just... sneak attack to classify. Essentially, fucking trank darting this thing. I mean, two arrows already prone, so that's good. Fourteen. That's 14. why I decided to wait until after those two. That way, this takes effect this time instead of them, instead of uh, Valus waking it up this time. Nice. <laughs> <sighs> All right, and your initiative, and then we'll start. Can I prepare my ready action? Nope. Then. Nope. 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 You've okay. already done your action. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just had an idea to let the tracks uh, hover above a pit. Well, that'd be kind of obvious. Or just have a, a pit beside the tracks there, so that they have even less space to occupy. The... Hey God, the um, I have about thirty minutes before I have to leave. Okay. If you want to get ready, then go ahead. I'll just control your character from here then. Okay. Alrighty. We got about an hour before I set you all to bed anyway. No! Yeah. Already? Yes. No! Right, so there, there's yes. your initiative. People got stuff to do. Yeah. How dare you have lives? <laughs> How dare adulthood be so fucking draining? <laughs> Alrighty, so one is asleep. Three has to get up. Since he's at the top of the order. Spend half his movement. So. 5, 10, 15. And he's not close enough for anything, so that's his turn. Number 5, however. Interesting. Thirty. Gonna go for the big old paladin.
Alright. That's a miss. What the fuck? Is that six? That don't hit. And a 14. That don't hit. So it misses both attacks. I'm going to use my reaction. <laughs> eh? That's why I'm now 15 feet away. It came too close. Oh, okay. I was going to say, why are you using your reaction? You weren't being targeted. But yeah, I forgot about that. Yep. All right. Within range? <laughs> you are in within range of me. Fuck you. All right. That's number five's turn. It is now Xanafia's turn. I'm going to take a swing, and if I connect, I'll use Brandon's. Uh, uh, no, I'll just take a regular action. I'm not going to do uh, Brandon's mine. All right, roll to hit. That is a 17. That is a hit. And that is 15 damage. Jesus. All right. Nice. And uh, that a ten. What's your uh, other thing you're doing? Your branding smite? I I decided not to. Okay. Is that everything then? Yep. All righty. And dare it, it is your turn. Okay. Move up. And take an I have stab. Six. Sixteen. That's a hit. It needs to make a con save of fifteen. It has failed. Okay, it's poisoned. Five damage. Nine from the sneak attack and... Oh, uh, let's see... 19 points of damage in total. And reaction to five, ten. Alrighty. It is now number four. No reaction, no. Bonus action. Bonus action, yeah. Alrighty. Number four is going to go for an attack on the Pally. Oh. Okay. That's going to be. One hit with the bite. Okay. So you take four damage, and I need you to give me a constitution saving throw. Current saving throw. All right. That is a 20. Wait, constitution? No, Ribale's getting hit. Oh, you said Pally. <laughs> yeah, you said Pally. Yes. Uh, blah, blah. My bad, sorry. I'm the Chloe. Oh, if he's gonna attack, if he's gonna attack, uh, uh, the cleric, I'm gonna use my reaction. Impose disadvantage? To impose disadvantage. Right. Well, hello there, you big two-legged furry. Cause, it, cause I can't do that myself, but I can. <laughs> it's still a hit. So, Rivale's still taking, what is it? Four, Four damage. damage, and I need a constitution save from you, Rivale. Constitution? That's uncommon. An 11, what does it do? You are not prone. Again? Why? Why are dogs my weakness? <laughs> dogs is everybody's weakness, apparently. <laughs> okay, so I am... 
knock down down or on my legs? You're, oh. You're not grappled, you essentially got tossed to the ground. So I'm laying. Yep. Yep. Ah, oh, okay. Alright. Uh, how much that damage do I take again? Four. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Alright. That is its turn. It is now number one, but it's asleep. Number two. 15, 20, 25, 30. Go for two attacks on Valis. Is info up. That's gonna be two hits. Mm -hmm. D8. Yeah. For that, and that's piercing, so that's doubled. Damn it! <laughs> Hi, welcome back! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you, however, are knock knock, not knock prone. So, you take 10 damage from the piercing. And, and now the second hit. And I cannot use my reaction, yes? Now, that's a hit, nope. better be. Not a hit. <laughs> and that you got hit twice. Oh god damn it. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and that is seven damage, so seventeen damage total. Fuck. Well, wow, here goes wow. the hell if we be here you go. And that's a deck save from them. I believe so. They have failed. <laughs> Roll your damage. 11 damage to number 4, and that is fire, so roll your d6. 4, 5, 6, I can't count. <laughs> fire, fire, la 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 la. So, 21, let's go. <laughs> hmm? I have 21 health. <laughs> <laughs> ah, god damn it, that's nice. Isn't it? It's one! <laughs> one damage is better than none. Yep. Oh. True. Good point. Okay. Oh. Boop. There we go. It's on fire. Fire. Wolf is on fire. Alright, that's I it. I thought turn. that was wolf number. I thought that was wolf number two, no? Yes. Yeah. I it am too. still. Extremely tired from the day because I got called in for overtime not too long ago before we started. So oh, I'm a little out of it. My bad. Understandable. It's okay. I have been that promoted to penalty. Uh, Let's go. It's okay, God. If you need to leave, you can leave. Uh, God needs a fucking drink. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. All right. That's all fixed. <laughs> So, that is it for its turn, and it is Valis's turn. Ah, right, good. That's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Um, okay. Let's see. Five, and 15, 20, because that's the only way I can go for it. Um... You know what? Fuck it, we ball. Uh, I'm gonna use Misty Step as my bonus assassin. Um, there you go. And then um, I'm gonna combine it with the So, uh, you really do need to stop getting with the uh, friendly fire here. What, really, bro? Nick, hey man. <laughs> yeah, you really got to stop with that because it's not really fun. But You're gonna hit me. everybody, including Xanafia, because it's in their square. Well, if I could go even further, that would have been nice. You can? I... I No, I can't. It's like I you, can only go to You 20. can go and then Misty Step. He's got someone in front of him is the thing. But he has... Oh, hi. That would... Uh, if you want me to be boring and I can't really No, no, no. That would cause an opportunity to attack from the you werewolf. You could use Firebolt. Give me one sec here. 
it is a 30 feet radius for teleportation, not 20. Oh, uh, okay. your, oh. your 20 foot radius oh. is for your fire thing. So you can go another so 10 I can go. Right about here. Is this or good enough? You can go five back and you'll get everybody. Except uh, nope. for your I allies. I... Well, thank you for think... mentioning, mentioning that now. I think right here it would do. I would just do it right here. Right here? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. They have to make deck saves. What's the deck save on this? Uh, this is I. Yeah. And they automatically fail, so they don't need a roll. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's like what one d forty six. What's the uh, save DC? 14, I believe. Yeah. They have all failed, so uh, roll your damage. Okay. How do I? I can't remember which one. Was it B6 or B4? I mean, not B4. Uh... Or D6. Okay. 46. And because they're Rolling burning, you get an extra 1D6. Just roll that once. That is so normal because I can't do math. <laughs> <laughs> so, 11. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to get rid of this thing here. So that's brighten in the way, but... Boop. Wow. There's one. And then... Thunder Wave with this second level. It's number... This. Two They're all on it's fire. Nice. Is number two so... burning from Valus' uh, firebolt before initiative? 15... Nope. I'll have him roll that in a second. Okay, yeah. Let him finish his thing, though. So you have to make constitution saving throw for a thunder wave. And what's the radius on that? Fifteen, one five. So you get three and one. Ah, it was hellish rebuke. Now I remember. And what's the DC on that? Uh, con fourteen. They have both failed. Roll your damage. Roll my damage. That's back. <laughs> <laughs> Werewolf number four. That was seven. One and three. Yeah. Well, that's one way to wake up a werewolf. Yep. Now roll me your 1d6 for your burning damage. There you go. You fucking glass cannon, you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. This glass can is worse than the glass can on freaking Divinity Original Sin 2. That explains right. the lack of survival instinct. Everything dies I'm before it can do any real time. harm. Alright. That, that's the end of your turn. So it is now Rivali's turn. Uh, you are not. Man. Yes? Because 3 and 1 failed. Both of them fouled right there, but yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there we go. Almost forgot that. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So that's Valis' turn. Rivali, it is your turn. Yay. It will require half your movement speed to get up. Yes. Um. Number four did a melee attack on me, yes? Correct. Uh, yes, I still have to roll for 1d4 spike damage. Yep, go ahead. Uh, it did go in for a bite rather a than maximum. a fall. And a bite. Alright, so that's its damage. Now your actions. So that was four for number four. Oh, fitting. Uh, I would like to stand up. Alright. Okay. Hey, let's go. Um... 
I could pit a werewolf. The question is, should I? Would be funny. It's up to you. I know, I know. Um, yeah, that would be smart, I think. Um, I would like to... Uh, yes. I had to use my uh, action and cast... Uh, Molt Earth. Uh, right. Uh, Use the thing. Wait. Right here and make a five feet deep trench or hole. Okay. So that they cannot effectively occupy this space. All right. That's your action. What's your uh, yes. bonus action going to be? A dragon slayer, uh, punch number two, please. <laughs> Roll your uh, hit and damage for that if it hits. Does it hit? <laughs> <That's whack. laughs> yeah, that's a hit. Uh, it's called the dragon slayer for a reason. That hits. The, the thing is, uh, my maze just has a higher hit probability than I do. <laughs> <laughs> and more damage. Wait, does it? No, wait, yes. And more damage. <laughs> wait. Uh, 8 plus 4 is... Uh, I do 6 plus... Yeah, 12. And it I is do already damaged, so... so. Uh, spirit, yeah, second level. Here. Not bad, it's an 8. Number two. Number two? Yes. Alright, it's still up. Is that okay. everything from you? Uh, yes, that would be everything from me. Alrighty. Top of the order, number three. Gonna turn around and go five and ten. And that's going to be a miss on both attacks. And then number two is going to go for a hit against Rivale. Both of those are going to miss. Try me, biach. And then it's Anafia's turn. <laughs> so right. two doesn't take any <coughs> spike damage because it doesn't hit. I'm okay. going to take a swing at number four. Alright. That is 26. That's oh a my hit. God. That's eight damage. What is this thought? <laughs> How would you like to kill this thing? Wow. Go chop, first of all, chop its head off. And then... <laughs> Basically amputate it completely. God damn, somebody's got an issue with these things. That's a good idea. Don't let All them right, regenerate. Well it's... well, it's dead. I am going to... in death has time. That everything? Yep. Alrighty. Here, that's your turn. It is now Derrick's turn. Okay. I'm going to move around here. Get at this guy. Uh, that's most likely a miss. Uh, ten. That is a miss. Okay. 
Let's follow that up with the short sword. That, not so much. That's it. Nineteen. How would you like to shank this thing? Oh, basically just... Since the short sword's piercing, I'll most likely just drove it through an eyeball. Nice. Head Alrighty. charge. It's dead. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, yes. It is now number one, sir, and five. The vowels are surprisingly squishy. Mm, I heard sir. memes Here. and stuff, uh, uh that people always <laughs> were afraid of the werewolves and stuff like that. You saw somebody murder its friend and then immediately go away. That's gonna be its turn because it's out of movement. It's like, uh, what the fuck? Is that a good opportunity to attack my dad? <laughs> you actually what? could, yes. If you want to stab uh, with a dagger, you can. Yeah, I want to throw a dagger at it. Alright, go ahead. Uh, in my, with my engraved dagger. I haven't used that one for such a long time. <laughs> Is an opportunity attack a reaction? Yes. Yep. Ah, okay, okay. There you go, it's a 21. <laughs> That's a hit. Roll for your damage. That would be a 3. How'd you like to murder this thing? Of course! <laughs> right in the you ass! Right in the ass, Jesus. Ugh! It went inside! Ugh! Ugh. It went to a spot that that werewolf never thought would ever be explored. <laughs> Fatality! You can't, run, you can't run away from us now, huh? Fatality? <laughs> You've earned the title of Ass Assassin. There you go. Again, Again time to... <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you already had it. <laughs> yeah, not, I already not, had it. Not in this campaign. That's what <laughs> I call Assault. Ah. Two campaigns in a row. Alright. And that <laughs> is its turn because it's fucking dead. So if you want to move back to your original spot, you can, Derek. Okay. Why are you... Collecting those titles, stab venom. Because they're fun. And he's going for the completionist route, apparently. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh! Right. I, I have something for that. Wait a second. Rivale, it is your turn. Because Valus is the turn. That was your achievement notification. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, uh, mm -hmm. the pit was kind of useless. And the Shrink Slayer was maybe overkill after all. But I guess time is money. Um, uh, one, two, three. Yes, I would like to move up to number three. One, okay. two, three. Uh, mm -hmm. Now that I am behind it, I would like uh, to say hello from nature. With nature's glow. Alright. Does it hit? Let's go! 25A! My That's highest goal today. Okay. Ah! Okay, it's a 6. Six damage. I okay. could have tried to ride it instead. What? Like jump on its back and chain it with my chain around the neck and rodeo the wolf <laughs> with my spiky armor. <laughs> Alright. Is that but your no, turn? Not today. Uh, and I would like to uh, attack with the Dragon Slayer as my bonus action. Yes. Number three. Uh, hit. Yes. 16. Wow. That's a hit. A hit bonus of plus 8. That's... Wow. And now the damage. Yeah, it does more damage than I do. A little bit. 7. How would you like your uh, sword to kill it? Of course. My mace. Uh, 
Uh, well, by basically finishing up as a follow-up to what I did. Smack it! In the head, maybe. Just to be sure that it doesn't regenerate. Yes. I gotta put the Dragon Slayer up on the board. <laughs> Plot twist right. has more kills died too. <laughs> I mean, it's go. already got one up to your two, so wow. it won't Yay. take too long for it to catch up. All right. Hey, victory! Da, 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 da. Burp. And How much XP do we get and what do we find? Give me one sec here. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Up. So, do werewolves regenerate when they burn? Do these they aren't regenerate the kind of werewolves that, these aren't they, the kind of werewolves that regenerate. That they're different? faster healing, but they won't regenerate. Oh, there are different kinds? Yes. Oh, so all the memes were about other werewolves. Yeah. Okay, because I was kind of surprised. Alright. Okay, well... I didn't know that there are different types of monsters. Let's see. Well, uh, well, since that's done, I need to leave now. <laughs> and let me see here. Will you return, Colin? No, I will not. <laughs> okay. Who's gonna search the werewolf bodies? I'll leave that to, uh... Yeah. Take the pelt. Uh, I would like to. Uh, uh, I doubt they still have pelts. Derek. Did, uh, oh, I'll right. Leave that up to Derek. <laughs> then take Please. whatever you can. Would you like some help with investigation? <laughs> I don't think he needs help. I uh, I will take my leave then. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, have a nice week, yeah. Colin, and weekend. Have a good night, guys. If bye you bye. want your character to do something, bye. say now. I'll and just have gone. him DM me later. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Derek, I you know. If... <laughs> Let Sorry. me finish. Derek, you know that there's not really anything you can find on them, considering their clothes are gone. It's just their pelts. But you could possibly get their transformative blood that could pass on the curse of lycanthropy to others. Sounds good. I would need a medicine check from you. Uh, I can help see. you. Uh, for that, I'd probably use my poisoner's kit. I say, you can get help from a volley because he does have proficiency in medicine. I can give you my help action. Alright. So you'd have I advantage. Yes, I would like on, to assist on an ability check. That is enough right there. I can give you more. I will Perhaps. send you the info. And Never mind, I can't. Yeah, he passed. He got it high enough. I'll send yeah. you the link here. It'll be under harvesting. All right. I never thought about weaponizing werewolf blood. blood. You could. People wouldn't like you for it, but you could. Now I understand the revenant feature in Phasmophobia. Mm -hmm. Alright. Also, uh, if no one is going to say something, I forgot to do my woodworking check. Yep. We were just talking about it earlier, but I never uh -huh. did it. I would need... No, oh, you did do it. There's a pass. Oh, I did. Was it the net 20? That was high enough. I don't recall what the actual number was, but you got high enough for success. Ah, okay, I, f I forgot. And... Oops. Boop. Yeah. Oh. 
Let's see here. Okay, whatever. So we have arrived at the winery. Yep, give me one second here to bring up the info for it. Oh. Nice. You're about half a mile down the road, so you're not quite here yet, so I'll keep you off the map for now. Okay. The road becomes a muddy trail that meanders through the woods, descending gradually until the trees part, revealing a mist-shrouded meadow. You're heading into the vineyard as a slight drizzle begins to fall. There's an unpainted fence that blindly follows the trail, but skirts north of a sprawling vineyard before bending south toward a stately building. The fog tastes on ghostly forms that... Give me a second, take a drink. Dry mouth, it's not fun when you're talking out paragraphs. Here and there you see rope-handled half-barrels used for hauling grapes. North of the trail is a large stand of trees. A man wearing a dark cloak and cowl stands at the edge of the trees, beckoning you. Describe the person again. Please. You see a man wearing a dark cloak and cowl at the edge of the trees, beckoning you. So, he's leaning against a tree and watching? At us, looking at us. He's, there is a man wearing a dark cloak and a cowl standing at the edge of the tree line, beckoning you. What's a cowl? A hood. Ah, okay. Well, that doesn't look suspicious at all. Can I look yeah. at the man back? I mean, you'd have to get closer if you wanted to actually see who he is. Oh uh oh! I will go. One, two, three. Four. I feel like we are entering a game. Uh, and wait. Do I recog? Wait, no. I don't know how he looks like. Nope. I'm just gonna put you here because you guys aren't actually near yes, the area um, yet. Can I do some? Okay. Uh, where exactly is he? At the edge of the tree line, beckoning you. <laughs> wow. Uh, do we wanna get? Wait, who sees that? All of you. Uh, do we get close and ask himself. what's up with him? Fans, is that what everyone wants to do? I am putting on my head again and roll. <laughs> Just to intimidate him backwards. And I looked at him. And he looked at me. And I looked at him. And he looked at me. <laughs> Sorry. You're trying to intimidate the guy that's asking for you to come over to him? Oh! So, back in, Oh! Sorry, my bad English, never mind. Santa's gonna hop out and walk towards... I would like to take a poultice. Okay. As you uh, approach... Hey, yeah, again? I mean, I oh, wow. Up. I have very effective poultices. As you approach him... There's other people that emerge from the street stand and greet them. They all wear dark leather rain cloaks and cowls to guard against the light drizzle going on. One of them introduces himself. Hello. Might I ask for your help, young adventurers? What is going on? My name is Davin Martikov. I'm the current owner of the winery and vineyard that you see before you. He yes. gestures to the other people around him. This here is Davian, Adrian, my eldest son, Elvir, my youngest, Stefania, my daughter, and Dag Tomescu, my dear daughter's husband. Pleasure to meet you. We should have asked for names at the I, gate. You may call me I am Zanafia. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Zanafia. The, uh... I am ill to... Yep, ill to say this, but... My vineyard has been overtaken, and the magic we use is... Gone, sadly. Oh. My. What has been overtaken? What? By what? Overtaken by what? What happened? It's, it's been taken over by evil druids and their creations. They've apparently decided to try and poison the wine we sent out. 
thanks to it, we've managed to keep them from sending out wine to the cities, but it's only a matter of time till they find a way to get something bypassed and into people's homes. Ah. Evil Twits? Is that legal? I don't think it they care. Is. I didn't know Twits can be evil. Yep. Yeah, out of context, Druids can be evil. Mm-hmm. Uh, paladins can be. It's, yep. it's I mean, is, paladins... Yeah, some paladins can be, too. Okay. The, the law is not always good, just as nature is not always good. I mean... Yeah. Nature is also not bad, it's... Uh, and either, anyway. And either is, uh, uh, clerics. There are bad clerics, too. <laughs> yes, but that most likely depends on the god, more or less. But evil yeah. tools? That's something new. <laughs> anyway, let's proceed. Hmm. Alright. Oh. So, do you know how many druids? I am unaware of how many druids there are, but there seems to be a fair few that have shacked up within the winery itself. Their dread creations are everywhere to the point of where we cannot even trust the trees. Ah. See. It's the trees again. <laughs> How do they look like? Trees. I mean, twigs they're foul trees. creations. Like twigs and trees come to life. How large? He doesn't know. Okay. He's just seen them running about. It All may right. be the small thingies again from Van Delva. Yeah. Or maybe. Or maybe I actually eggs. need to move you guys here. Give me one sec. Okay. Oop. There we go. Yeah, this will make it better. Ah, nice. Uh, oh, let oh. me remove that. And that. I'll get and the baby in. How did they manage to overtake the winery? There's only me and my family here, and they brought a veritable drove of creations with them. Ah. Well, good thing we uh, sent away the children. Alright. You can see to the right there's a beaten path that'll take you closer to the wine. Yes. The, the winery. Okay. Um. I think we might be best to send a scout ahead to see exactly what's going on up there. You have a scout? Has uh, Derek gone invisible on us? He has now. I'd like to see if I can use a perception check. Alright. I don't see him. Yeah, I can't see him. Nope. Yeah, looks like I... Oh, well, we did have a scout. Did we take him with well, us? They said, they, said uh, they want me to investigate, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, can he... Davian, can you tell us about the druidical natural practices of the druids? He doesn't know. Okay, we, so we cannot determine any further that. information. Okay. Nope. Well, okay. Give me a perception check, Derek. That 20. Wow. You can see what you recognize as needle blights hiding in the vineyards and the forest around the area. There's about 30 of them. Oh, wow. If you were going to approach the winery, they're obviously going to sense you. You'll either need to do one of two things. Find a good fighting point or simply fight them as you get to them. Battle's out! <laughs> okay. well, the problem with that is... If we send Valis in to take care of him, he is—he would most likely end up destroying the the vineyard. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. Oh, they are that close. They were. They are. They are in the. the yeah. Oh, it's wait. Ah, the 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 wine there's field. There's the vineyard, then there's the winery. Mm-hmm. Ah, the the field. Okay. Are there scarecrows? Nope. Sadly, there's no actual map before the distance okay. between you guys and the actual house itself, besides the original vineyard map you saw. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, let me see. Lol, I'm just reading a quirk uh, about the sending stuff. <laughs> Uh, is the sending stone of from the Nokia manufacturer? No. Or is it an Apple product? <laughs> Does it come with a good flat rate? You'd have to try it out to find out. Nah. It's, it's all, all right. right. So, so what are we doing? About the, what is it? You said about 30 of them in the vineyard? Yep. There's about 30 of them in there, and we can either draw, try and draw them to us from an attack position of ours, or we can go in and try and attack them within the vineyard. Okay. What do you suggest? Me? No, I was talking to Derek. Oh, of course not. Well, if we go in there, we run the risk of getting surrounded. Plus, we don't know how long it'll take before backup show up when the sound of fighting starts. We'd probably best try and find a fighting position to try and draw them to, one where we can see if anybody tries to come up to us. Yeah, I will second that. And I recommend we stay out of, stay away from large plants since there's druids involved. Hmm. Very well. Uh, what? <laughs> yes. I have an idea. Is there a wall somewhere, or something that we a can what? use as well? to cover our backs or our flanks or have a choke point uh, Mr. Davian or Martikov uh, is there somewhere an area that we, we can use eventually as a choke point or fortification not really it's just wide open vineyard and then the mansion itself if you make it all of 120 feet to the the winery, you could possibly barricade yourselves in and fight from there and make choke points. How do we make a hundred yeah, no. into that? That's the that would mean that we have to deal with the tools and sides. True. Mm, 30 of them, you say? Mm -hmm. So they don't know we are here. How many people of you did you say you are again? Let's leave them alone. Okay. Do you have shovels? I don't know if we can uh, dig trenches maybe before we fight. What are you, a Kriegsman? Hey, uh, come on, I'm trying to be smart here. I have a shovel. Is there a way to get approach the winery that can't be seen from the vineyard? No, essentially, if I go ahead to the main map here real quick. I erase the mark here so you guys can actually see. 
it's all open. Mm. Ah. So as you can see where you're at on the carriage there, there's the main winery. There you are on the road. You still got some road to go, but it's all open vineyard. Yeah, so the only one that might have a chance to get in there is me. Mm-hmm. Possibly. Some lucky. You're essentially at the junction of the road right there, a little ways down it. Just talking with them about what to do as you go in. But you have no real way to go in sneakily unless you have somebody who's real sneaky go in. I mean, maybe we can... I don't know. I would like to know if those uh, little... Uh, bushes or whatever they're called... Uh, if they are connected to a source of power. Give me an intelligence check. For example, a mana stone that created and controlled them. Give me an intelligence yes. check. Intelligence, let's go. <laughs> 17, 19, let's go. And I'm actually give me, one more for, give me one more for nature. Uh, nature. Come on, Sylvanus. An 8. Uh, 13, not bad. Now give me one final religion check. Am I inside the carriage? Nope, you're outside of it talking with them. But oh. go ahead and make your religion check. Uh, Sylvanus, GG boy, come on. Help me out here. <laughs> and 19, let's go, 24. Thank you, Sylvanus, best boy. Amen. You're actually very lucky to have a nature-based cleric in your party right now. You're welcome, people. <laughs> let's go, nature. Revale, hey, yes. with your intelligence, nature, and religion check, you can tell that your god is very angry with what's going on in this vineyard uh -oh. because of what it is and what it entails. You get a vision. <laughs> in this I've vision, in you... Thoughts. No, you just literally stop. Time has stopped for you a second as you see this. Oh, okay. You see a tree, except it looks corrupted, wrong, tearing up the land and feeding off of it. This is known as a Gultheus tree. <gasps> From what you know, there's legends of a vampire named Gultheus who worked terrible magic, but... He was undone and destroyed. The stake that stabbed through his heart was infused with his blood, and in time, tendrils of new growth sprouted from the wood, growing into a sapling infused with the vampire's own essence. From the Gothias tree came the seeds of which the first blights were sown, such as needle, twig, and vine blights. You can tell, with this check and everything, that most likely one of the druids in this area has a staff made of a Gothias branch, and that's why there's so many blights in one area without running amok, from what Derrett has told you. If the Gothias staff is a spongy black length of wood that simply seems wrong to you, your god is very, very angry that this tree exists in Barovia. And that someone is using it for evil ends. He demands that you destroy this staff and will accept nothing else other than the complete destruction of the tree itself. You know that by destroying the staff that a druid is carrying within this area, the vine blights within the area will wither and die, given that their controlling presence will be gone. And we're going to go off the notion that you've let everybody know this. Oh, my. Oh, my Sylvanus. Uh, so time uh, gets normal again. Yes. The leaves move again, the grass waves in the wind and stuff. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yep. Holy. I'm assuming by now that you have told Derrett and Xenophia and Valis what's going on. Holy. Oh, my. Yo, wait, 
Was it just me or did you see that too? I will go and expedite. <laughs> yep. Okay. Go ahead and expedite. <laughs> I had a vision and God is very angry, like holy damn. Yes, you've just told us. Yes. Yep. <laughs> that was the first? I got you, bro. So, <laughs> we need to go in and take out this druid quickly. Uh, Whichever druid it is that has the staff, essentially. Yeah. Or, I don't know, uh, did Silvano show me where the tree is? No. He knows that from seeing all of these blights and the corruptive presence within this area, he knows it's in Barovia, but he does not know where. Given the amount of coverage, because as you know, the powers of most gods, such as Lefander and the Raven Queen, yes. are muted here. While there is a great deal of nature magic here, and he's able to influence the area somewhat by still enabling you to do many of your spells and help your party, he can't do a full search of the area. He can simply sense that it's here. Wow, Essentially, okay. it's the difference between him being in Faerun and him in Barovia. Barovia is considered its own plane of existence from Faerun. Faerun, if he looks anywhere, would be like looking at his own house. If he tried looking in Barovia, it's like trying to look through someone's front door to find out where they sleep or something like that. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I guess nature is stronger than sunlight after all. Even so, nature cannot prevail without sunlight efficiency efficiently. Anyway, uh, I'm taking a look at my map to spot something suspicious in the forests. Maybe it's a known tree, I don't know, or maybe recently created. Uh, I don't see anything. Worry about that after we deal with what's going on here. My idea was maybe it's actually... I mean, the map is probably... Not 400 years old? I don't know. Maybe it's a recent map. Um, and I maybe the tree too. is actually on the map. I mean, we can I just travel to the tree and destroy it. It would be easier. And maybe less dangerous. But I don't see anything. Uh, it wouldn't get rid yeah, of the druids that are here. it just get rid of the blights. Yes. Well, okay. Wow, that was an experience. <laughs> Come in, kitty. Uh, I don't see anything. Nope, yeah. just normal trees. I mean, I don't know. This one is slightly more detailed than the rest, but that's just a uh, copy of another tree. But that, that's nothing. That's a, is that a tree? Is that a number three turned around? Okay. Uh, I don't okay. see anything suspicious on the map. Yeah, let's not worry about the map right now. Okay. Well, uh, do I... Should we tell them to? We probably don't want to scare them completely. I don't know. I feel like they should know, maybe. What is happening? What, what can, is... Question. Is this information going to help them? Well, they will know at least what they are dealing with. They already know, basically. Even well, yeah, yeah okay. Vile plants. Anyway, okay. That's all oh. that really matters to them. That was next. Yes. Plus, taking yes. care of it. Okay, um, I have two plans. Uh, plan A, uh, David, you go in sneaky as much as you can. Uh... Either kill the druid or steal the staff or destroy. Where did he go? Anyway, or uh, destroy the staff. If that you doesn't work. You told him to go in! <laughs> right. told, told him to get sneaky. Yes. You have your uh, plan of info as well as everything, but yes. we'll reserve that for next time because we put the three hour mark. But at the very uh, least, you guys can chat with each other about how you want to solve this and. You have more info than you did before. You know there's a source for this. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's right. called angry. And plan B would have been... Uh, the fight. 
openly. Yes. God is very pissed. Yes. There is essentially something in nature that's considered a parasite, and an evil one at that. Aha, uh -huh, something unnatural. Influing and, blah, 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 influencing nature to the negative. Yep. Pushing it out of balance. Do you... Okay. The whole All point right. what my job is. <laughs> Bring right. balance to the be, force. I will nature. be completely honest to the entire party. The only reason you got that vision is because you're actually doing some role playing with your character and doing constant prayers. Yay! That is the literally the only reason that he's able to exert any amount of force and help you as he does. Thank you. Embrace nature, people. All right. Anybody else got some anecdotes before they want to head off for the night uh, and get some rest? Let's build trenches. <laughs> All right, Mr. Kriegsman. I, I'm serious to minimize the effective uh, uh, field occupation of the enemy. All right. We'll have that plan for next time. Derek, I think that would be very say? smart. Uh, I don't know how he plans on me taking out the one druid if he doesn't know where that druid is and who it is. Well, that's why you're the scout. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to try and sneak in and see if I can figure things out. Alrighty. Anything from you, Shadow? Uh, no. Um, if, is this going to be a short rest? or? I would assume that since you're chatting about this and getting info from Mardikov as well as what the innards of the house are and such, that this would be a short rest indeed. Alright. Now, before I forget. Get. I have indeed gotten your checks for your stuff. Hello, Alex, man. Uh, imagine David is quick to pull the sound operation off by himself like uh, Sam Fisher. I mean, if he does it correctly, he could essentially make this entire area so much easier for you guys. Uh -huh. Or he Meanwhile, could get swarmed and get fucked. Yes, meanwhile... Mm -hmm. Get the shovels well, and that's start digging. What Vanna Fia is going to maybe try to cause a distraction. We need because. fire. No fire. <laughs> Controlled fire, I mean. No fire. I will say this: you are forgetting the fact that it is raining at the moment. Oh, it's a light drizzle. Never mind. So it's not no going to be just tinder. It's just going to be wet. It's <gasps> not going to be as much fire damage. That's perfect. We can dig better. <laughs> all right. I'm going to send you all off until you all get right. some rest and okay. see you all next time. How many have <laughs> shovels? I think all of you do, considering you basically took over an entire store. And the other people, do they have shovels? Probably not. They've been essentially kicked out of their home. Uh, I don't really think they're going to worry about taking shovels. Okay. Anything. Are they hungry? Would they like a good baby? You could definitely take care of them. Yep, have a good night, man. Okay, yeah. good night, everyone. Good night. Have a nice weekend night. and week. Bye. Thank you for today. It was amazing. Check out Helldivers yeah. too, please. <laughs> All right, you have a good one, man. Yes, you too. Thank you for today. Amazing. Yep. Bye. 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 Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was today's session and amazing. I am here and we got such valuable information and oh my god, that never happened, nothing like that ever happened before, not even in my background past, like, wow. Amazing. Anyway, yeah, so that was today's session. Hello, Arix, man. Sorry, I didn't see your uh, chat. Um, but, yeah, you are probably gone already. Uh, hello. And I guess goodbye. And, yeah, that was it for today. Amazing. Like, wow. Like, I had, literally, literally, I had it in front of my eyes. He is just describing everything. So, amazing, I guess. But, yeah, okay. Um, so, we have ours. That was it. Oh. Ow. I, I, ow, almost strapped, okay, ouch, I almost pulled off my skin of my thumb on the edge 
of my table. Of the metallics. Eh, never mind. Um, but yeah, maybe one day we will have uh, more than three hours on one Sunday. But yeah, um, that's it for me from today. Uh, anyone live? Except Paracatus, I would like to raid. Ah, uh, we did Fungulus. Eh, I think we are good enough. Uh, but yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Goodbye, everyone, and have a nice time. Goodbye. And until Monday. Ah, it's in 50 seconds. Never mind. What? Don't. I would. What the hell? Come on. Why can't. What the hell is happening with the layout? Anyway, goodbye. And Arex Ben, sorry for uh, not reading your message uh, soon.